The 20th century gave us so many misconceptions when it came to health. Cutting down on meat is a good idea. In Fat Part 1, we talk about the war for information, but I actually think we also live in a war with ourselves. People are becoming guinea pigs. Trying to get our system to do what it's not supposed to do. Today, we're going to explore all of the vitamins and nutrients you might need on a vegan diet. Vitamin B12. Calcium. Iron. Choline. Vitamin D. Selenium. When you go on a vegan diet, you're cutting out a bunch of crap, a bunch of processed food in your life. But but at some point, it's not sustainable. Iodine. Neurologic disorders. Zinc. Can be deficient in vegan diets. Eat this, eat that. Don't eat this, don't eat that. They were yelling like, don't eat chickens, don't eat meat. I love chicken. We have more questions than ever. We have lost the faith of the public. And sometimes even the people who are so-called experts don't know what's going on. Sugar makes insulin work better and cures diabetics. This study says this, that study says that. Fat tends to cause you to be fat. When you're in a club and they keep telling you the same thing in the club, and this is the only way it is, and you never see any other viewpoint, you just start believing. And it throws your body into a state of emergency. That's what ketosis is. People will say to me emphatically, well, keto is bad. Keto crotch. They're desperate. Bacterial vaginosis. If you have a sandwich or something right now, you might just want to go ahead and put that down. And I'll ask why, and there's no answer. They'll just go, it's bad. So I actually have not done keto myself, as you might guess, but... So is the pendulum swinging back in the opposite direction? If America is so worried about its health, how do we get so fat?